$4.20 less in taxes. Am I right? Am I right? So you see how companies benefit. So I would say a company that doesn't borrow is probably not doing a good job. You see what I'm saying here? Okay. I mean, unless the company has a very strong reason not to borrow. Okay, and you can overborrow. So now you might be saying, okay, so corporate borrowing or business borrowing is good. Yes, to some extent, but there is no free lunch, okay? If there is something good, there must be some downside to it. Otherwise, companies would splurge on borrowing, okay? They would keep borrowing and borrowing and borrowing. Yes, there is a downside. What's the downside? Whenever you borrow money, uh, you know, most of you probably had your car purchases financed, okay? So you know what I'm talking about. You have to, you have to be able to make that, you know, payment every month, right? So that's a sword hanging, you know, above you. It can fall any time, you know, if you don't write a check for, for a given month, okay? So what happens if you fail to write a check? We all know what happens. That guy is gonna come and take your car away, right? That's what's gonna happen. So the same thing for the corporation. JC is in trouble. I'm gonna use JC Penney's data in chapter three. He's in trouble. So much of borrowing, they're not selling enough, their business model is failing. So what? So, uh, and I've been using uh, JC Penney's you know, example for the past three, four, five years because it's an interesting case. Right? And uh, I was reading in the Wall Street Journal, maybe JC Penney at the most has one more year this year. And if they are not able to turn the firm around, they're gonna go bankrupt, okay? Part of the reason why they'll go bankrupt is because they have billions of dollars in loans, billions of dollars in loans, okay? So once you fail to pay interest on time or pay off a loan when the loan is due, uh, the only recourse that lenders have is force bankruptcy on you. Go before a judge and say, judge, you know, JC Penney has not been paying, paying me interest, uh, and the judge, you know, can, judge has a lot of leeway. The judge can, you know, pass, uh, you know, uh, a judgment saying, well, you know, let's uh, take J.C. Penney's assets and sell those assets and, and uh, you know, distribute the proceeds to all those lenders and creditors. So, so the judge can do that, you know. So that's one of the options the judge is going to have. So, so, so there is a trade-off here, okay? So borrowing is good to some extent. Interest expense is tax deductible, so it, it, it makes you richer. On the other hand, the more you borrow, the more the risk, okay? So you have to balance the two, balance the two. Okay, don't tilt in favor of too much borrowing because while you could be gaining something here, you could be losing more on this side, more on this side. Okay, how, how much more would you be losing? So isn't JCPenney saving on taxes by borrowing billions of dollars? Yes. But what do you think? How, how, how is JCPenney losing on the other side by, by borrowing too much? What do you think? Because it shows up somewhere. Can, you tell, can anyone tell me? Interest expense. So, so, so lenders, banks are charging a very high interest rate from JCPenney. Okay, so all that advantage of uh, interest expense being tax deductible is, is lost because they are paying through the notes. Okay. Uh, so that was number two. Okay, uh, any questions? Okay, number three uh, from that slide, first slide. Uh, manage the firm's working capital. Does anyone remember what we mean by working capital? Current assets. Current assets. What are the current assets? Cash is the most liquid. It comes first. Then you have accounts receivable. Then you have inventories. And there could be some other minor. So your job is to make value enhancing, value creating decisions pertaining to these, these accounts. For example, yesterday Apple told us that they are sitting on $242 billion in cash. That's how much cash they have. $242 billion. What do you think? 
what do you think? So is it all right for Apple to be sitting on so much cash, you know, idle cash? What do you think? They are very safe, of course. You will say they will never go bankrupt. Sure. But they should invest it. They should invest it. Okay. How much cash is, is good enough? You want to be safe, but you don't want to be over safe. So they need to make perhaps make some acquisitions. If they, some people are saying, hey, maybe Apple should should uh, purchase Tesla. Okay, uh, because they are technology firms, and Apple. I don't know if you know it. Apple, uh, at least as far as we know, the outsiders know, uh, was considering uh, manufacturing an Apple car, an iCar, so to say. Okay, so so they invested, they hired hundreds of engineers who were working on, on, on an electric car project. Uh, so uh, we don't know where they are. They have laid off many of those engineers, but so could, could make an acquisition, okay? They could make an acquisition. Uh, what else, they, you know? Uh, once they have found out, okay, this is the cash that we need, okay, for our, uh, you know, operational purposes, the rest should be either return to shareholders. How do, you, how do you return cash to shareholders? By giving them more dividends, okay? Giving, giving them, does Apple pay a dividend? Yes, it does. But they can increase the amount of dividend. Or they can buy back the stock, buy back, yes. Most companies, IBM has been buying back its stock. Apple has been, when you have too much cash, okay, doesn't, doesn't behoove that you sit on that because this cash is not earning much, as you know, these days, you know. Of course, rates have gone up, but, but until recently, your banks were paying you close to 0%. Now they are paying you a little bit more, okay? So, so you want to make sure that you're not sitting on and I did talk about you sell on credit. Most companies in the U.S., they sell on credit. So you, you need to manage this account. You don't want to extend credit to everyone, you know. You must analyze every, every uh, buyer's credit worthiness. And then you need to make a decision whether you need to extend credit to that party or not. Okay? And inventory, very important. Uh, JC Penney, uh, you know, for quite some time they had uh, an overinvestment in inventories. So they were, sales were declining, but their inventories were, were swelling. They were ballooning, okay? So that's a, that's a very bad thing uh, to do, overinvest. So, so we teach you how to manage, you know, uh, these different accounts or these different. All right, any questions? Okay, uh, 